Hey what's up everyone, today we are gonna talk about the Elementor counter widget. We will see all the content and design options of this widget and how we can make different kind of counter and make awesome counting effect with this. So let's start. First of all to add a counter, we search for the counter widget. Let's drag it. You can see several options of this counter on the left side. So the first option is the starting number. So if I set it to 50, you can see the counter is starting from 50 to 100. And there is also an ending number which indicates at what number the counter ends. And after that here is the option of the prefix and suffix. You can add anything before or after this counter number. As example, if I add here a dollar sign, it's always before this counter number and i can also put something after these numbers so if i put plus here you can see this is always after this number then here is the option of animation duration which is the duration of the counting effect if i set it to five second you can see the animation takes five second to complete okay then there is the option of the thousand separator which means the comma separator between the numbers now it's turned on so if i give it a bigger number you can see the differences okay now the comma between the numbers are shown but if i turn it off you can see no commas are shown and lastly this is the title under this number you can change it from here So after that here is the style option of this widget so this is the option of changing the number style you can make it any color change its typography make it any font you want and can increase or decrease its font size font weight text transform and anything text style text decoration line height letter spacing and similarly you can also change the style of this title so you can change its text color and also the typography so that's all about the counter widget now we want to delete this widget and want to show you how we can make different kind of counters using this widget so let's see so firstly I take a four column here I want to make four different kind of counter in this column so first of all I search for the counter I drag it here so I start with the basic options I want to make the number 2500 and also want to style this I want to make its color to the yellow and also want to change its font to the poppins make it a little bit bolder and also for the title I want to make it to change the color to white and also the font to the poppins okay so this is the basic counter widget so after that I want to add an another counter beside this but in this case I don't want to start it from zero so let's make it I search for again the counter I drag it here in this case I also want the same style like this so I copy this and paste the style to this so the start number here I would like to 100 and the int number will be 155 so you can see the number start from 100 and ends at 155 then I want to change its title so I change it from here Then after that we want to add an another counter with a suffix and prefix so we added it here and copy the style again and paste it so I want to add a dollar sign before this and add a an K and plus after this so I added a dollar sign here and also I want to make this number 100k so I put the K here and also the plus then I want to change its title okay then I want to add another counter so I duplicate this and drag it here and in this case I don't want this prefix I want to add only the suffix so I remove the dollar sign here and only 
the suffix to million number and in this case I want to make it 10 million and also the starting number not 0 I want to start it from 1 because when I start it from 0 it looks something awkward 0 million so I want to start it from 1 and lastly I want to change its title okay that looks cool so here we play around with this widget and make kind of different counter like this so I click update and go to preview you can see this counter looks really awesome so that's how you can create an awesome counting effect with this counter widget if you want to get elementor plugin you can check the link in my description you can get it from here and make different kind of awesome stuff with this so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you later